Welcome to Good Friday Online here at Abundant Life Church. Today we're going to be starting a, a, a new series called Encountering Easter. And we're going to be looking at five different people that were participants in our kind of our Christian understanding of the Easter story. So, but I want to hit you kind of with a big point that's kind of be the, the theme for our, our next few weeks. And this big point is, is that encountering Easter is encountering Jesus. Let me repeat that one more time. Encountering Easter is encountering Jesus. So the first person that we are going to look at uh, today is his name was Simon of Cyrene. And it says this about Simon of Cyrene in Luke 23, 20, verse 26. As they led Jesus away, they seized Simon, a, a Syrian, Cyrenian, whoa, they seized Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country and laid the cross on him to carry behind Jesus. I just want to give you just a couple of, of facts about this guy, Simon of Cyrene. Maybe you've read this story before. And you've maybe not even really thought about him too much, but there's some interesting facts that I want to share with you about Simon of Cyrene. The first fact is, is that Simon of Cyrene was from Northern Africa. Cyrene, which uh, a lot of the times when they would say their names, they said their name and where they were from. So Cyrene was a location, an area in northern Africa. Fact number two is that Simon was visiting Jerusalem. Um, this was a common thing for people to go on this pilgrimage, go on this journey, because they had heard of this place, Jerusalem, and, and he was curious um, to what, what was there, what was Jerusalem all about. But this would have been a journey that would have taken him about 1,300 kilometers. So he traveled a long way to come here. And the fact number three, which I just kind of found out myself, was that Simon of Cyrene probably didn't have a lot of information about who Jesus was. He knew who, what Jerusalem was. He heard of Jerusalem, but he didn't really know much about Jesus. And so Simon comes to Jerusalem and he comes 
searching for fame, success, power, wealth. I want to ask you today, what are, what are you searching for? See, Simon encountered Jesus that day by carrying Jesus' cross. Those, the Roman soldiers picked him out of the, the crowd. I don't know why. Did he look strong? Uh, was he looking, was he just maybe at the, the front of where the crowd was? So it was easy just to, to pull him out. It doesn't really tell us too much why he was chosen. But Simon was the guy. Remember, this is a guy that did not know very much about Jesus. He had very, and now here he is, that he is now carrying his cross. See, the weight of this cross, you have to understand, was about 300 pounds. Now just kind of look at some of the people in, in your room where you're watching this, this online. Are any of them around that weight? Or maybe you have to put two people together to, to equal 300 pounds. What, however you look at it, this was, this was a heavy cross. And Simon is given the task. He's given the cross. They lay it on him and tell him to carry it for Jesus. See, G Simon is now sharing in Jesus' sacrifice and and look at what's happening here. He is following behind Jesus, this guy that he didn't know very much about, Jesus. And now he is carrying his cross and he's following behind him. I, I this is just blowing my mind. There's a there's a verse in Matthew 16 verse 24, and it says this, then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone, anyone wants to follow after me, he's got to deny himself. He's got to carry his cross and follow me. See, Jesus here is, is having a conversation with his disciples. He's talking about what we're celebrating right now. This, this Christian, as Christians, we celebrate Easter and he was having a conversation with them. He was saying, listen, guys, I, I'm going to go and I'm going to be dying on the cross. And you say that you want to follow me, but this is what it's going to take to follow after me. You're going to have to kind of, some of the things in your life that you're trying to keep control, you got to surrender that to Jesus. There's this idea of, of taking up a cross. This is following me that, that it's, it's going to be some cost, maybe. Maybe it's, it's going to not always be easy. But that we're to take up our cross and follow him. So I got to ask you, what's, what's keeping you from following Jesus? What's standing in the way? Is it that you've had, maybe you've had a, well, you've just had a lot of difficulties lately. Or there's, there's, there's things that you, you just, I don't, can't wrap my head around it. This Jesus guy, I, I don't know if I completely believe everything. Or maybe no one's told you. Maybe you've never heard this story. But it's a question that I want to ask you. What's keeping you from following Jesus? See, this, this moment, what, what's happening right now to Simon, a guy who didn't know that much about Jesus, is now profoundly being impacted by this guy, Jesus. It is, this event is just hugely impacting Simon's life as he takes the cross for Jesus and then he follows behind him. Probably pretty slowly. See, Jesus, the Romans, they, they didn't hold back when they, when they were punishing Jesus. And, and he maybe, Jesus was walking slower 
And he, maybe even Simon, he could hear the crowds, what they were yelling. Some were yelling, you know, you're, you're a fraud. Some were yelling, Jesus, you, you are my king, you are my Lord. And he's walking and he takes the cross all the way to where Jesus, what we, we know, died on the cross. And this event would have profoundly impacted Simon's life. So I ask you again, what's keeping you from following Jesus? Is it like you're like Simon that you just don't know very much? Or are there things standing in the way that you're trying to hold on to? And I want to ask you, in your lifetime, have you ever encountered Jesus? Have you had a moment or an experience that you can recall where it was so real that you encountered Jesus? If you haven't, I... I hope that this Easter weekend, that in some way that you have this encounter with Jesus. So let me just pray for you. Lord, Lord Jesus, I just pray right now for every person that is watching this, this message online. Lord, I pray that if, if they have not encountered you, Jesus, that, that this this would be a moment, this would be the time where they are impacted and they come face to face with who you are, Jesus. That they encounter you and and understand the sacrifice, the love that you have for them. Lord Jesus, I pray if if there is obstacles that have been standing in the way are keeping people from from encountering you. Maybe it's pain or hardships or doubts or worries, struggles. Or maybe they just feel that they've done too much wrong. That you would never want to have a relationship with them. I pray that they would surrender those things to you and, and find you and, 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 and meet you this weekend, I pray. I ask this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, here's just a couple of of, of ways that that you can encounter Jesus. Maybe you go on a family hike or listen to a, a worship playlist. There's a ton of them on Spotify and Apple Music that that, and begin to fill your home with worship music. Or take some time and read the story. Read this, this, the account in Luke chapter 23 about what Jesus did for you. And that you would be able to encounter Jesus by reading the story. Or pray together. So these are just a a couple of simple ways. Take them and and through these, may you encounter Jesus. And may you passionately worship Jesus, wholeheartedly follow Jesus, urgently share Jesus, and lovingly lead others to Jesus. Amen.